During this tutorial, you're going to learn how quick and easy it is to optimize your presentations for upload onto SlideShare so that your content will be discovered not only in Google searches, but also on SlideShare. For me, SEO is a bit like laying the foundations of a house. Too many people become intimidated and believe it's an overly complicated step. But unless you build solid foundations, your house is going to crumble and all your hard work will be wasted. It was only a few years ago that in order to rank highly in Google searches, bloggers used to stuff their content with keywords in order to get around Google's algorithms. But over the past few years, Google has brought in some significant algorithm changes to put an end to these spammy practices. Keywords are still relevant, as I'll explain a little bit later on, but there are also other important considerations to bear in mind. If you're uploading and sharing content from your own website, it's essential that it's mobile friendly. Google provides a very simple and quick test so that you can find out if your site is mobile friendly. Google will penalise your website if it's too slow to load, so make sure you also take the speed test. You will be able to identify problem areas and how to put them right. Another key consideration is whether you're producing engaging content. If your content is of value or if it resonates with your audience, then it's more likely to be shared on social media. The more engagement you have with your content and the more social signals that are generated will send an important signal back to Google and increase the likelihood of your content ranking more highly in SERPs. SlideShare is a high domain authority, which means that any content you upload to the site will automatically rank higher in Google searches. SlideShare was bought by LinkedIn back in 2012 and the two sites are very closely aligned. You'll notice that if you upload a presentation to SlideShare, you'll be given the chance to share it on your LinkedIn profile. This facilitates the sharing of content, it increases your brand visibility and encourages more engagement. So now we can talk about keywords. You still need to do some keyword preparation before you even start creating a presentation. There's nothing different here to keyword preparation before writing a blog. You need to look for keywords which have a high search number but are low in competition. Individual words are very difficult to rank for so try and use long tail keywords or phrases. They seem to work better in presentations and on SlideShare anyway. If you want to read around this subject, I recommend you read What Are Long Tail Keywords by Thrive Hive. There are three keyword research tools which I use habitually. One is Bing a keyword research tool, the other is Ubersuggest, and this fantastic new one, SERPstat, which I only discovered the other day. So now you've got your keywords, where do you put them within a presentation? Well, there are four strategic places. I think the most important point to remember here is the file name for your presentation will become the URL when you've uploaded the presentation onto SlideShare. So the file name becomes searchable in Google and within SlideShare itself. So ensure you use your main keyword or phrase that you want to rank for within the file name. Once uploaded to SlideShare, you'll be given the chance to tell SlideShare what the file is all about to increase its searchability. The title will be searchable within SlideShare, so again make sure you use a keyword here. You'll most likely want to use a title that's similar to your file name. The description box is relevant because the first 155 characters act like a meta description. That's the first few lines of text that you see underneath the blue link in Google searches. 
although it doesn't carry much weight in terms of SEO, those few lines of text are the key to enticing your readers to click the link to read more. So make sure you use words that are relevant and are of interest to your followers. After the first 155 characters, you can write whatever describes your presentation best. I've seen links to relevant blog posts included and even links to social media sites. Tags are searchable within SlideShare and you are allowed an incredible 20 tags per presentation. You might not use all of those opportunities, but you might want to use your most important keywords as the first few tags. The team at SlideShare estimates that tags increase searchability by 30%, so take the time to think carefully about them. So I'll leave you with a final checklist just by way of a quick reminder of the key points. Thank you so much for purchasing this tutorial. I'd love it if you join me for tutorial number two when we'll cover some key formatting areas. How to set out your presentation to hold your audience's attention right to the end.